Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Kim, hematologist in Claremont, California. Today, uh, we will discuss hereditary bleeding disorder, especially with von Willebrand disease. Thank you for watching. Von Willebrand disease is caused by von Willebrand factor deficiency in quantity or quality, causing platelet adhesion and the aggregation problems. It's most common hereditary bleeding disorders occurring in 1% of general population affecting both men and women equally because it inherited in an autosomal dominant uh, pattern. It caused mucosal bleeding, frequent nose bleeding, heavy menstrual period, and uh, uh, easy bruisability on the skin. It's mostly mild and overlooked, so the many patients with the von Willebrand disease don't know they have disease. They often develop iron deficiency anemia due to uh, prolonged and uh, frequent bleeding. Let's review the uh, von Willebrand factors briefly. The von Willebrand factor is functioning as a glue so that the platelet can adhere to the collagen on the, uh, in, in, at the injury site. It binds the GP1B or GP1B95 receptors of platelets. Uh, the von Willebrand factors have a, uh, subunits those large multimer von Willebrand factors are functioning units. The monomers, dimers, uh, other medium small size multimers are not functioning as a glue. Uh, it's a, uh, it stored in the Weibel polite body and they're released when it's necessary. Uh, it also protects the factor eight uh, because factor eights are fragile. They can't survive in the bloodstream alone. So they bind the von Willebrand factors for protection. When the uh, activated platelets release thrombin, uh, activating uh, factor eights, they are detached from the uh, von Willebrand factors and they're used for the coagulation cascade. As this uh, uh, drawing shows, the von Willebrand factor also uh, works for the uh, platelet aggregation uh, as it uh, bridges the uh, two platelets or other platelets uh, through the uh, binding the GP1Bs of the uh, platelet. Uh, uh, platelet. There are uh, several types. Patients with type 1 have deficient von Willebrand factor quantity. Simply, they don't have enough amount of factors. It's most common because usually mild symptoms. Lab test uh, will show von Willebrand factor levels are low, of course, and the von Willebrand factor activity is also low, uh, measured by the Aristocetin cofactor. The ristocetin was originally developed as an antibiotics, but uh, was taken out of market because of too much clotting side effects. They found the, rist the, the ristocetin uh, stimulate the von Willebrand factor binding to the platelet through GP1B receptors. Now we use this ristocetin to test von Willebrand factor activity and uh, not used as an antibiotics. You expect the low factor eight activity activities because of the reason I, uh, we discussed in the previous uh, slide. It caused abnormally prolonged PTT from low factor eight levels. The type two patients have defective factor, uh, defective fat factor quality due to absent or decreased large size multimers, uh, especially in two type two A. Uh, it's less common, more severe symptoms. Uh, test will show von Willebrand factor levels are normal as they have no problem in amounts of the factors, uh, but the quality is a problem and the von Willebrand activity uh, is low measured by ristocytin cofactor activity. And again, the low factor eight levels, especially in type 2A. You know, the uh, uh, among the uh, uh, type 2 subtypes, 2A is the most common uh, caused by loss of large multimers. There are other subtypes, 2B, 2M, and the 2N. Uh, 2N is the interesting subtype, and the N stands for Normandy, uh, France. Uh, it's more prevalent in Normandy. It's caused by the, uh, the, the factors uh, having reduced affinity for factor 8. So the factor 8s cannot bind von Willebrand factors for protection. So the factor 8 will be destroyed in the blood, causing severe uh, factor 8 deficiency, often confused with the hemophilia A. 
uh, type 3 patients have no von Willebrand factors uh, at all, absolutely nothing. Uh, luckily, it's rare uh, because it causes in an autosomal recessive pattern. It causes severe bleeding. There is a, a pseudo or platelet type von Willebrand factors. Uh, they have no problem with the von Willebrand factor itself, but the patient's platelet GP1B95 uh, receptors are uh, abnormally hyperactive, resulting in increased multimer consumption, uh, causing low multimer levels and the platelet clot formation and the thrombocytopenia. The acquired von Willebrand factors can occur in autosomal uh, autoimmune disease such as lupus. Uh, and uh, in myeloproliferative disorders uh, such as essential thrombocytemia and the polycythemia vera. For many years, we wondered how TTP develops, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. Now we know why. It's because of the uh, ADAM TS13 deficiency. ADAM TS13 is a protease that cleaves von Willebrand factor large multimers. If you don't get rid of von Willebrand factors after uh, activating uh, von, uh, the platelets, uh, it will continue uh, activation, aggregation of platelets, and the clotting continues to make fibrins. The rapidly flowing RBCs are severed by fibrin strands inside the vessels causing intravascular hemolytic anemia. It belongs to the uh, thrombotic microangiopathy syndrome, TMA, which encompasses TTP, hemolytic uremic syndrome, hereditary Adams TS13 uh, deficiency, and other drug-induced or complement-induced uh, Adams TS13 deficiency. In this situation, micro blood clots and fibrin strands sever RBCs causing fragmented RBCs called schistocyte schistocytes fragmented RBCs and often uh, shows like a, a helmet cells hemoglobin spill out to the blood uh, and urine become red because of hemoglobinuria Microclots cause capillary and arteriolar thrombosis, especially in the brain, causing headache, mental obtundation, and seizures. But the acute renal failure is uncommon in TTP. Uh, it's, it's very interesting, but we don't know why. And the consumption of platelets cause severe thrombocytopenia, often less than 10,000, and the skin bruise, ecchymosis, petechiae, and severe hemolytic anemia with the hemoglobin very low, five, seven grams, and the hemolytic anemia uh, uh, also cause high reticulocytes, uh, high LDH, high indirect bilirubin, uh, jaundice, and the low heptoglobin. Heptoglobin binds the free hemoglobin in the blood, so the total heptoglobin level goes down in hemolytic anemia, especially intravascular hemolytic anemia. The Shiga toxin hemolytic uremic syndrome is not caused by the uh, Adams Adam TS13 deficiency, but it's a worth mentioning. It's a from enteric infection of Shiga toxin secreting strains of E. coli strain OH157H7. E. coli OH157H7. It occurs mostly in children, uh, causing severe bloody diarrhea and almost always cause oliguric acute renal failures. It's not uh, a common in TTP though, as mentioned before, and uh, it causes severe anemia, thrombocytopenia. Uh, there are common disorders uh, associated with thrombotic, microangiopathic, hemolytic anemia, and thrombocytopenia. Uh, in sepsis, patient can develop DICs, uh, and uh, systemic metastatic cancer, uh, uh, preeclampsia, and eclampsia with uh, HELP syndrome. HELP syndrome occurs in pregnant women, and uh, HELP stands for H hemolytic anemia, HE, and uh, L liver dysfunction, 
LP, low platelet. So it causes hemolytic anemia, liver uh, 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 problems, and uh, thrombocytopenia. And in severe hypertension, malignant hypertension, uh, in autoimmune disease like uh, lupus, and especially antiphospholipid syndrome, we'll discuss later in hematology uh, 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 lecture. And also, uh, you, you can see this my, uh, thrombotic microangiopathy in patients who underwent stem cell uh, or other organ transplantation. For treatment of von Willebrand disease, we use a decimal pressin. Uh, it's called a DDABP. It's a synthetic vasopressin, uh, ADH. It increased the uh, von Willebrand factor and the factor eight levels, so we also use it for mild hemophilia A. It can be given as a sub-Q IV and the nasal spray. Uh, the side effects include hyponatremia because it holds the water too much. It can cause seizure because of brain edema. Uh, it interestingly, uh, it can cause tachyphylaxis. Tachyphylaxis is the uh, uh, drug uh, uh, effect rapidly diminishing uh, if used repetitively in a short period of time. The uh, example of tachyphylaxis are LDH, uh, LSD, psychedelic drugs, opioid morphines. If you keep using the morphine, you don't feel the same uh, pain relief or high feeling. Uh, beta-2 agonist inhalers, uh, albuterol for asthma. Asthma keeps keep puffing the uh, inhaler, but uh, the effect is not as strong as you use it more and more frequently in a short period of time. Also, nicotine, cigarette, if you uh, smoke, you don't feel that effect of nicotine as you smoke too much. So you have to smoke more and more. Hydrolazine also can cause tachyphylaxis. Hormones, estrogen, Progesterone increase the uh, uh, von Willen factor and the factor eight levels. So for the mild disease, you may just simply prescribe the uh, estrogen, progesterone, oral contraceptives. Uh, during pregnancy, because of uh, increased level of hormones, uh, the von Willebrand quantity increases. So the uh, woman with the mild von Willebrand disease don't have any problem with the bleeding during or after delivery. The infection, inflammation, trauma also increase uh, von Willebrand uh, levels. Antifibrolytic uh, agents. Uh, recently, we use tranexamic acid. This is a uh, relatively new medicine, and we use it with a pretty good success for the mild von Willebrand disease. The woman with a heavy period often have much uh, uh, a normal uh, uh, the, the menstruation volumes. For severe case, uh, those hormones or tranexamic acid, uh, desmopressin won't work. So we have to use recombinant uh, von Willebrand factor infusion uh, as an inpatient at the hospital. We also uh, used human factor eight concentrates, not the recombinant uh, purified recombinant factor eight concentrates as it contains not enough von Willebrand factor. So you have to have a not highly purified, medium purified human eight uh, uh, concentrate. But if you can get recombinant von Willebrand factors, those are best, the, the best choice. Cryoprecipitates uh, contain fibrinogen factor eight and factor a, uh, von Willen factor. So when you don't have DDABP or if it's not helpful, you can use cryoprecipitates uh, in the hospital.